Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. All right. I want to talk today about being disconnected with your swing and losing posture. I see this a lot. A lot of people sending me in swings, and it's a really common flaw, especially with young players. And so the move that they make, uh, twofold. One, either they don't get into good posture. And what I mean by good posture is I want to feel like my butt is slightly out and my chest is over. All right, so hitters will start in all different positions. You've seen hitters start like this, start like this, start like this. Some start in good posture, but no matter where they start, the key is when they get to their spot where their lower body and upper body are ready to hit, they're almost all going to be chest over the plate, butt out. So if you think about your spine angle, it's going to look like that. Now, hitters will vary you know, a little bit in their posture and in their spine angle, but you're not going to see any hitters land or get ready to get their front foot into the ground and be straight up and down like this. Okay. So that's the first thing being in good posture. Okay. Getting into this position hitters that start like this, some hitters start like this and they just never get there. They're up here. The ball's down here. They're up here. They've got to hit this ball. That's really far away from their eyes. That's still a strike. But because they're up here, their swing gets long, they get armsy, they're not able to get a proper path where their barrel gets behind the ball. So check that out with your swing or your son or daughter swing or one of your student swings and see what their posture is when they are about to get their front foot down into the ground. Are they here or are they here? If they're not here, you've got to tell them to feel like their butt's going to be out and their chest gonna be over. I'll show you a couple of drills for that in a second. Okay, so that's key. The second thing is some players will get into good posture. So they'll be ready to hit right as their front foot's about to come down, but then they come out of posture. So they'll be here and now they go to swing and they come up and out of posture like this. And a lot of times I see that because a player, in my opinion, is trying to create with their body. They're trying to create power. They're trying to create more bat speed. And so their move to do it is body come up and out of their swing. Same thing's going to happen. I come up and out of my swing. My swing is going to get long, right? So I come up and out. I get disconnected. I get long. Also, I come up and out. My shoulder starts to pull off here. My head starts to pull off here and I'm not able to stay on the ball, especially those balls that are away, and again, down especially. The more away and the more down the pitch is, the more I've gotta be over the plate. I can't be up here, right? So that's the move, two things. Either they never get into good posture or they get into good posture and then come out of it. They use their body to try to create more. So what are some ways that you can fix that? A couple of drills that you can do. Easy, easy stuff is just, doing dry stuff, watch it in the mirror, pick out a mirror, see if you can do this over and over again, slow motion, get in the posture, go to contact, get in the posture, go to contact. So when you see me do that, notice how my posture never changes. I'm here, I'm here. Look at me from this, watch me this way. There's my posture right there, right? Butt out, chest over. Notice how that doesn't change. I'm not here, right? I'm not here, here, there. I'm over the plate, I'm over the plate. Right, so that's really key. So just do it dry. Start off by just doing this. Make sure you're in a good position when your foot's about to land. Then can you go good position, good position over and over again. Okay. You could do something simple like finding a wall or a pad and just getting your butt up against the pad. So I start a little bit off of it. Watch this bag right there. I start a little bit off of it. I get up against the pad. So that's the feeling. 
all right so that's really really easy to do the other thing we'll do is we'll do coil drills you guys have seen our coil drills online but all they are is you're going to start forward i won't get into the exact you know we could spend 10 minutes talking about the drill but very simply you're going to put your toes forward you're going to feel like the weight is over your right foot in the ground left foot is very light almost no weight there i'm going to coil up i'm going to keep all of my weight over the plate so good posture now from here i'm going to swing and i'm going to remain in good posture you can see how i can almost basically take the swing off of one leg if i really wanted to i could right so you don't have to do it one leg we don't do it completely one leg but i want to feel this now when you're doing this drill if you go here players that come out of posture will do this drill and they'll come here into their left leg they'll go left if they're doing that they come out of posture you got to force them boom, stay over their inside leg right so that's a really good drill that you can do for posture another drill that you can do for posture is you can just i'll have our hitters cross their hands across their chest just put a pvc pipe or a stick i have a stick with me right now pvc pipes back there so i'll just show you with the stick you're going to be here you're going to get into good posture you're not going to use your arms now no arms all you're going to do is get into good posture and you're going to get to the t now watch if i come out of posture i can't hit the t it's impossible again because i don't have arms the cheat move for hitters when they do this is to use their arms, but you can't hit, right? I think everyone can see that this swing isn't gonna work, right? So I've gotta be able to use good posture, stay in good posture, hit. Now you can work different heights. You can put the tee up higher, you can put the tee down lower. The higher the tee, just like in a game, the higher the pitch, the more I'm gonna be here. The lower the pitch, the more I'm gonna be over the plate, okay? The ball that's down and away, I'm gonna be the most over the plate. The ball that's up, really anywhere, but up and in, the less I'm gonna be over the plate, okay? So one of the myths is that your back shoulder can't get below your front shoulder, you can't drop it. And for me, I have to be, I always have to be here. I have a lot of players that will look at a still picture of a swing there and they'll say, oh, no, that's, that's not a good swing. Drop my back shoulder. It has to. If you don't, you're going to take this disconnected swing. So hopefully that makes sense. That's all we got. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.